Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which has taken a lifetime to get here. This is the fourth Doctor, Doctor Who, uh, category six scale character replica figure, barcode, da da, product code, da da. Yeah, it finally got here after a long time. This is the Zavi exclusive. Um, Fourth Doctor Tom Baker forget. Excuse the voice today, I have got a cold. Um, yep, and I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but I needed to get this video out because I want you guys to see what this is like. Um, I haven't seen it myself yet, obviously big box. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open this now for you guys. I'm gonna keep this side the only side you can see because the other side has my address on it. So, we're going to do uh, that through the top of the box, and then this down inside the box, there we go. And, it is in, looks like it's in upside down, but never mind. Right, I just slide that, oh no, it's, yeah, it's in, so, <laughs> it's in the box, upside down, which is nice. You would have thought they would have put it in the box, the right way around. Anyway, I ordered this from Zavi. Well, shall we say we were in lockdown when I ordered this? It was probably 2021, maybe even a little bit before that. I can't quite remember, but I have sent them a thousand and one emails and messages to say, where is it? And they eventually told me the other, they, they usually just say, hey, okay, when it gets here, like, but now this time they actually sent me one to say it was, it was going to be available in October and it has finally finally arrived it better be good uh we have doctor who down that side on the back we have the other ones that were in the set of the fourth doctor the ninth doctor the tenth doctor the eleventh doctor and the twelfth i want to show you the top one because obviously you can see that but that is the tell you what it's got a big plastic bag on it let's take the plastic bag off there we go ah, there you go there you can see it so we have fourth doctor Ninth Doctor, the intense Ninth Doctor spotting his own unique style, a simple well-worn leather jacket, plain v-neck sweater and black trousers, masked his madcap wit and frivolity. The Doctor comes with his sonic screwdriver, psychic paper, wallet and a robot spider orb. It includes interchangeable hands to adapt various poses and illuminating display base. Okay. And there's the other one. So we had the 10th Doctor. I'm not going to read all these out because I'll just do that and you can read it. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. When I saw these, I thought it would be great to get all of these. But I worked it out and that would have been really expensive. But my dream was to get, would have been to get all of these and put each one of them in. You know those display bases you can get for one to six figures? You know, the transparent boxes put them into those as though they were like in a prison cell and that they were trying to escape from yeah that would have been pretty cool it's kind of weird that they've done the uh, he's the fourth doctor is the only one what they say walking through eternity in his outlandish and eccentric attire his trademark long scarf trailing his footsteps the fourth Doctor cuts a striking figure. The Time Lord comes complete with his fedora hat, a bag of jelly babies, plus his ever-reliable sonic screwdriver includes interchangeable hands to adapt various poses and an illuminating display base. So I'm presuming that the display base, base the, the display base, well, it's up the way it says illuminating. So we have Doctor on that side, we have that. Obviously, they're using this bit because that's a separate card in need. So this this outer box is going to be on every one of these. And then they just put that different inlay card inside. There is another little thing on the top there. There we go. Pop that out of there. And right, we slide the figure out. So that is now an empty box. I should pop that down there don't knock my orange juice over because i've got orange juice in case i start coughing uh the fourth doctor portrait features a fully released likeness of tom baker 
one hairpiece standard, one hairpiece hat, one anatomic standard male body with over 30 points of articulation, long striped scarf, one velvet effect cloak coat, one tartan waistcoat, one pair of trousers with braces, suspenders, white high neck shirt, cravat, necktie, a pair of brogue shoes, a pair of socks, partial, interchangeable hands, one fedora style hat, one sonic screwdriver, one bag of jelly babies, one display based with illuminating Doctor Who logo. There you go. And all the copyright stuff down there at the bottom. Right, let's do the bit that you're waiting for. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move that up a little bit. Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> okay. He looks, looks a little bit, he looks a little bit shocked in there, I have to say. Hmm. I'm looking at that and I'm and I'm going oh, okay. Oh, doesn't look quite the same as it did on the pictures when I ordered it. So let's see if we can. Yeah, it comes out of there. Does this sell tape all the way around? Pop that off. That's now stuck to me. I can't get out rid of it. of stuff over there now. Right, so he comes out, display stands and stuff, hat, hair hat, hands, sonic screwdriver, which I'll done with sellotape, and oh bag of jelly babies. Right. Oops. Alright, that's more. It's a lovely little stack of plastic now. Ah. This plugs in, I guess. Well, that is really not wanting to go in there. I get the feeling once that's in, it's going to be in forever. There we go. Right. Hmm, okay. So it has. Oh. It lights up. That's kind of cool. Yeah, right. Let's have a look at the man himself. Not too bad, we'll just take off the bad example for children, you shouldn't put plastic bags over your head. The scarf is going to, to me, looking at that scarf, it's going to take a bit of work to get it to look like the proper scarf. I don't know, it looks a little bit too manufactured. The original scarf was knitted, so... Yeah. And they've put sticky tape around... I want to see the socks. Okay, so the, the socks, the partial socks, are like that. Okay, the partial socks, right. Hello, splendid. Well, straight out of the box, kind of weird he's got. It looks like he's wearing nail polish. Come on, focus. Oh, kind of weird nails, but anyway. It's a fluff on him. There we go. Right. See. That's a short cravatty thing. There we go. Right. So let's have a look at the face. I thought when I ordered this that there was going to be more than one head with this, actually. But I guess not. It's just got the one. And it's a slightly shocked looking face. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back and look at the advert. I'm also wondering why that hand looks like it's got nail polish. It severely looks like it's got nail polish on it. Yeah, his nails. That one doesn't. Kind of weird. And I, I, I will, I will be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I'll say it. I don't know if I like this or not. Yep. I've, I've already pulled his foot off. That's a good start. Because they put sellotape around it that I couldn't figure out how to cut. Great. Right, give me a moment. I'll right. be back. I've taken off all the little plastic bags and things. Sorry about the sniffing. I'm really trying not to sniff, but 
having a cold is a pain. So that hand, focus, come on, focus, has slightly painted looking nails as does that one. So that is obviously his phonic screwdriver holding hand, and maybe. It will maybe fit in there. If I don't want to force it in and break it because I had the original Dennis Fisher one back in the day and I broke my sonic screwdriver all those years ago. So I don't want to do it again. It's not a bad sonic screwdriver actually. I have one of these, a metal one. If you'd like to see a review of it, leave a comment in the bottom. Yeah. Not too bad, I suppose. Right, the figure though. Let's have a look. The face, I just googled it. You do want to get one head with this. It's not a bad likeness. I will say that. I just wish they'd have given him a more... less... anxious face. It just seems weird that they've given him such a... ooh, scary, scary face. Him smiling would have been maybe better. But the scarf on the one on there has like a fold in it to keep it down a little bit. So I'm going to have to work with that. Looking at the pictures on the website. It just, I don't know, it just feels a little bit, it's very, I don't know, it feels a bit cheap. The face is great, but I don't know, the clothes don't feel quite as wow as I wanted them to, so if that makes sense. The hat's nice, I have to say. It is sort of rubber. This is a real piece of material wrapped around it, and it has the hair that it fits on. So that's, I guess, how you do that. It also has the bag of Jelly Babies. Focus. There we go. Which do look like Jelly Babies. They've done a good job of the Jelly Babies. It's just a white bag. There's some Jelly Babies in it. Or Belly Jabies, as I used to say when I was a kid. Hmm. So I'm supposing... Actually, that looks more like a hand that could hold a sonic screwdriver. Hey, I'm, this scarf is just not quite blowing. It's gone out of focus again. Come on, there we go. The scarf is just, it needs work. And I'm sure somebody on the, on here will tell me what to do. I also feel like his feet and his knees aren't quite as tight as I'd like them to be. Um, the coat. Let's just do that with the scarf. That's a shame that that's obviously permanently going to curl up because it's been like that out of box. This bit isn't straight. This bit, I don't know, this just doesn't feel his neck. I don't know. It's weird articulation there because it's like. I can see why they put the scarf around his neck like that. Now I'm not sure how <laughs> that went on. That kind of thing. Like I say, I'm going to have to work with this and get that so that it, it fits better. Because there should be another fold in that. But look, his, his leg's gone kind of out already. Oh, it's a shame because I waited so long for this and I'm proud so much money for it. Um, I kind of wanted it to be a bit better than this. The jelly Baby's supposed in his hand like that. Don't look so bad. I mean, it's got it's got the usual kind of articulation, so you're going to get him in a plenty of poses, but it just 
there's braces under there. I don't want to. I don't want to undo any of these because I've got this horrible fear of not getting it back together, particularly the way I've moved the scarf now. The coat feels like it needed to be kind of dirtied a little bit or dusted or something, you know. So threads. Yeah. I will say the shoes are very nice. A really nice job with the shoes. Let's see if we can change the. I'm not sure where. To join it. How much? Where's the hair? <clears throat> hmm. Just give me a second. I shall see. I can't even see a join, to be honest. Hmm. Ah, right. There we go. So the whole... <laughs> that looks really weird. That looks really weird. Look at it. That's weird. <laughs> that goes on there like that. And... That goes on top. This scarf is going to do my nutting. I can tell I'm going to get angry about the scarf. Because it is just weird. And it doesn't want to sit right. Look at that. It must go that way around. That must have been how it was. It needs another fold in the bit around his neck. I don't remember him having like such a big bit around there. Yep, and those feet are doing my head in because his joints don't feel like they want to keep him upright. That's why they've given you the stand, but I shouldn't have to use the stand. There's also so much, look, I don't know if you can see it, but look at the muck in here. There's bits of thread and also, I know there's going to be bits come off it, but yeah. It's going to keep him up, sort of. Right, we have him on the stand. I don't know. I like it, but I don't like it. I'm, I'm kind of, I will be honest, I'm kind of disappointed. Because it's taken so long for this to get here. And now I've got it. I'm like, oh. And I'm really kind of glad. That I... It will actually pull him over rather than the scarf move. I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the other ones. Because if they were as, as eh as this. I would have been really disappointed. So you got a point in hand. That's obviously the, the jelly baby holding, is it? Oh, well, that one seems to hold jelly babies better. So yeah, he's going to probably be stood on a shelf. Kind of like that. I am kind of, kind of disappointed. I kind of like it. But I don't. I don't know. The face looks okay. So let me just try something. This is going to sound really weird, right? Spot. Let's turn the lights down, cause it looks a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks better in the dark, mm. but that looks, I don't know, because we always look at these things with the biggest, the brightest lights on. Oh, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10, but I wouldn't give it a nil out of 10. It's just one of those things. You know, sometimes you look at something and you go, meh. If I'd have seen that at a convention, I'd, you know, in, in a cabinet and somebody said, would you want to buy it? It would depend on the price. Um, you know what I mean? I wouldn't... I wouldn't rush to buy it. 
the pictures of it online look a lot better. It's just, you know, it's silly things like the way that he's, this doesn't quite fit right. That's not straight and it will not stay there. It keeps wanting to go back. Look, it just, because when they've put it in the box, rather than taking the time to put it straight, the scarf should be, I don't know, it's just, oh, so more like that. And it should settle more, but it won't because it's, the material is just going to spring back, look. So, it's going to be a work in progress. I will probably mess about with it. It's also a shame, I know, you, you could say, yeah, but you didn't pay a lot for it, but I paid enough to have something better, yeah? And I feel bad. I don't li I don't like doing negativity. I don't like doing reviews where I'm I'm critical of stuff. But for the length of time I've waited for it and what I paid for it, I feel like I wanted more. Yeah? And, you know, I've nearly cancelled this about four times because I was just like, I cannot be bothered to wait for it any longer. Yeah. It's, it's just okay. That's my review of it if you're really i am a big doctor who fan this is one of my this was my doctor growing up so yeah it's a shame i know there's there is sleeves on here you can take the coat off there is lining in the coat i don't like being critical but i just feel like the clothes don't quite fit right which I know Tom Baker wasn't, that that was the point of his doctor, but that should go over there, but it seems to not want to be there. It wants to be, because when they packed it in the box, like, look again, that's gone back to being folded up. Because when they've put it in the box, rather than doing it right, they've done it like that. So it's probably been sat for however long with it in the wrong place and there's no way to alter that because that's how it's now been creased the only way to do it would be to iron it and i shouldn't have to take it all his clothes off to iron them which do you think leave the hat on i, I suppose the hat's gonna stay on because that is the the kind of the tom baker look that everybody knows isn't it so yeah i'm gonna work on it I'm going to try and figure out how to get the sonic screwdriver into a hand. I'm going to put some blue tack on the bottom of the Jelly Baby bag so it stays in his hand. I can see there's a good figure in there. I'm just going to have to work at it. It's a shame, but... Um, it's... Like I say, look, that's... Oops, that's not folded right because it's been folded in the bag. And it's... Uh, just, yeah. I'm going to wind this video up because it's it's the feet do not want to stay where to put it just feels loose and yeah i i i'm gonna give this a yeah, review you know because i'm just i'm just kind of disappointed yeah i get the feeling you're gonna see a lot of these on ebay being sold because people are gonna get these and go really really I mean, if you're dealing in this kind of scale when you get things for Hot Toys, I get, I get the, you check back on my reviews. I did an Indiana Jones that's, that was from AliExpress. Um, I've got a Rocketeer from there. I've got a Superman from there. I've got a Riddick from there. They're all such, and they're made pretty cheap. They're slightly cheaper than these. Definitely the Indiana Jones was, and they're better. Um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. So, if you have enjoyed this video, then please hit the like, shares and subscribe buttons down there. It really helps the channel. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great night. And we'll see you on the next video. Hopefully I'll be back by then. Bye now.